loves. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my first ever wash day routine video. I'm going to be using some new products by Ruby's Natural Hair Care. Thank you for working with me. You guys are going to love these products because... I sure did. So if you want to see how I do my wash day routine, please stay tuned. So I just got a diva cut and the product she put in it didn't work. I had to put my hair in twists for the week because I was getting my wisdom teeth extracted and I wouldn't be able to do my hair. So my hair is a hot mess. So I'm just going to start by putting it in my normal five sections and working on the back half. I don't know why I started on the back half to be honest. When I'm in the shower, I normally do the front and then work to the back, but I'm starting out with the Ruby's Natural Hair Care Green Tea Shampoo. Now the consistency of this one threw me way off. It was so watery, which is why I was making the face I made. But as you can see, it lathers up really nice, which surprised me and really confused me at the same time. But, um. I am putting the shampoo over the length of my hair. That's normally something I don't do. I normally pre-poo first, then only shampoo the scalp and allow the shampoo to get rid of the rest of the buildup on my hair. But y'all, my hair was so dirty. I had to just shampoo straight and put it all over my hair as well. So the shampoo left my hair still moisturized and shiny and soft, which I really loved. And then I'm going to go in with the green tea conditioner to follow up. So I'm coating my hair with it and then I'm going to split the section into a half and continue to work the product in. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to twist the section off. So this just helps to keep my hair detangled and it makes it a lot easier to detangle by the time I get to that process. So I'm just going to continue these steps on all the sections of my hair while leaving in the conditioner to work its magic. So briefly, I just want to talk about the products. So once again, I got the green tea line. Um, there is a mango line. But the green tea is for dry, cracked, or irritated scalp. It has ingredients such as aloe, flaxseed, sunflower, and then there's also tea tree and eucalyptus to soothe the scalp. Um, the mango line is for dry, shedding, or brittle hair. These products are sulfate and paraben free. It is also phosphate free. And the goal of these products is to give you long lasting moisture and shine. I'm taking a wide tooth comb and I'm undoing each twist and detangling and I'm doing these in the order that I washed my hair in just to make sure that each section has time to condition. Once I'm done detangling, I just twist it back up to keep it detangled. Now I noticed that this conditioner did in fact give me slip, which is a great thing. It made the detangling process a lot easier. Any section that didn't feel like it had enough conditioner on it to detangle, I just added some more and that did the trick. Once I'm done detangling, I just wash out the conditioner in these twists. I squeeze the product out of my hair. This is also how I wash out my deep conditioner. It just keeps my hair detangled and it makes the process a lot faster. So I took out my hair out of the twist just to show you guys what it looks like. It's nice and soft and shiny. And I really loved my results. Afterwards, I just deep conditioned with my TGIN deep conditioner. I'll leave the review above and below for you guys. And now I'm just sectioning off my hair to twist. I'm putting in this hair mud, which is basically a shea butter. So you guys will notice that I did finger detangle a little bit with this product. And it also gave me nice definition, which I was really impressed by. Then I'm going in with the love oil and I'm just using that to seal in the moisture that I put in. And this gave me a lot of shine. I also put just a little bit more on the ends just to ensure that those are sealed properly as well. And then I'm going to twist my hair. This made my hair very smooth and easy to twist down. And I was really impressed by that. So you'll notice by the time I get to the next section, I finger detangle before putting in the shea butter because trying to detangle with an actual comb with the shea butter in was not working. It just, 
there was no slip so i strongly recommend making sure your hair is fully detangled beforehand so briefly about these products the hair mud is a grease alternative it can be used for styling and detangling but it's primarily a deep conditioner but i wanted to use it to style the love oil is a hair growth oil and it can also be used as a body massage oil and soothes dry skin these are my final results i'm sorry i couldn't catch it in a video i was in a rush i was on my way to a wedding but my hair wasn't even completely dry and still the volume definition and shine was out of this world i really love how my hair came out me using so much product left my hair so greasy the day of even to touch now it is kind of greasy but the first day was absolutely ridiculous i actually felt like the love oil was repelling off of the hair once i put it on top of the um the hair mud it was just it was too much for my hair i used quite a bit of this like just way too much you guys so i strongly recommend being light-handed with both of the products shea butter is very heavy i don't know what caused me to get carried away but i did get a tad bit of flaking in here um i don't want you guys to confuse that for the shine but there is i think in this area there was a couple flakes if you are a person that really likes shea butter i strongly recommend this because it was good it just may be a little too heavy for my hair i'm not sure yet but these products were very moisturizing down to the shampoo i have quite a bit of the shampoo left it's kind of hard to see because the bottles are a, a dark brown color but this is how much of the shampoo i have used it's sulfate free so for the fact that you know my scalp is not on fire and my hair actually was clean without being stripped is a plus the conditioner now i uh it's kind of a little harder to see it's right up here i was really worried because the bottles were so small i thought i was going to run out of this really quickly but a little goes a long way with all of these products these products are super affordable that's really it these products get a 10 out of 10 for me. If you are looking for some natural hair products and you're not trying to break the bank, I strongly recommend this, you guys. I will continue to use the shampoo and the conditioner for sure. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'll be sure to leave the link to the website down below as well as a list of the products I used today. If you guys have any further questions on this hairline or my hair routine as a whole, please leave it down below. I'll be more than happy to answer it for you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.